Okay, we have we have the bot, unless it decides to turn itself off again. We have the bot, we have the game, we have us. Hello, happy Thursday. <laughs> oh man. So we're probably gonna finish unpacking today. Even I probably can't stretch this all beyond another stream because it's not gonna be like Deltarune. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where it um gives me endless stuff to talk about. Um, so before we dive on in, I do want to say I've been kind of thinking about what I want to do next. So I think we're going to play Stray next, if you folks are down with watching Stray on Thursdays. And I'm used to thinking of Thursdays as being like heavier than Tuesdays, but our Tuesdays have been very heavy. And so I know I've been talking about how I'm going to play um, Disco Elysium on Thursdays. I don't think I'm going to do that because I think that Disco Elysium and Horizon Zero Dawn at the same time would be a, a bad idea. Um, so I think I might try something lighter. I've been thinking about um, the Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door, possibly. Um, one of these games that I've talked about playing for a while. Um, and haven't gotten around to just so that I don't have super super dark games going both days of the week when I'm just relatively recently out of a pit of depression um, so that's what I'm thinking right now um, but we've still got a little while before we uh, before we have to have to settle on that because we're going to be playing Stray and maybe I'll play some other little games too because it, it feels nice to have like new stuff coming and going. Um, I'll get to the point I think where I want to do something that I can sink my teeth into again but for now this is what I'm thinking. Um, since you are the Thursday crew you can suggest or request or express your feelings and you are welcome to have those feelings and to express them. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm going to play what I want to play, but I do take people's feelings into consideration to some degree. Um, are we about ready? Oh, yes. One shot. Yes. I, my memory is so bad. I, we might be ready for me to play one shot um, again, which if you'll recall, I played it in 2017, but I have lost a lot of my memory, so it'll be fresh, um, which will be an interesting thing if you folks are all right with hearing me talk about what it's like to lose your memory. <laughs> Um, because that's fun. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But those are the things that I'm, those are the things that I'm thinking about. Those are the games that are under consideration. So if you want to weigh in and say, well, the thing is though, Blues, I wouldn't be picking that game back up. I would be starting it over from scratch as though I had never played it before. Um, so, uh, so that's why we've waited four years, five years, five years to play it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and dive into unpacking. Um, and if you want to talk about this some more, we can talk about it on Discord. I'll be there um, some maybe after the stream and tomorrow and kind of figure out what's going to happen next. Because there's a lot of really good games out there that I want to play. Um, and as cool as Disco Elysium is, one of my best friends played it and then came to me with like a thousand content warnings. Like, are you sure you want to play this game, Lauren? Um... And so, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to play Unpacking, though, which is the farthest thing from that. Unpacking has some more, like, it has more substance in it than I think um, upon first glance. And this is not a criticism. Like, like a lack of substance doesn't necessarily mean that something is in any way. Like, it's not meant to necessarily be a disparaging comment. Just some things are meant to be kind of fluffy entertainment um, that don't get you thinking too much about something that you can kind of just knock out in a couple of hours. Um, and it's, it's satisfying, it feels good, um, but it doesn't stick around with you and it doesn't move you. Um, and that's a, it's a valid decision for a story or for a game, because games don't even have to have stories, um, to choose to be like that. Um, it's not so much my thing. I have a uh, very, very limited attention span for things like that. Um, but I'm really glad that with unpacking, it does provide that experience where if what you want, as far as I can tell, my thoughts on the matter anyway, um, 
it's uh if what you want is to just chill and play a chill fun game that you enjoy um and get into the zen of putting things away you can um but it does tell a story and the story is something that is i think relatable um and deals with more like personal challenges and personal growth in a way that I think people in my generation at least can relate to. I don't know about older generations, I don't know about younger generations because I think the younger folks might be a little too young to have quite hit some of these um, like life touch points that our character in Unpacking has hit. The character in Unpacking is just a couple of years younger than me, so we are very, very close in age and very, very close in life experiences, despite growing up, I think, in different continents. Um, and so for me, that adds a lot to this. Um, I do want to comment on the nice details of the uh, the logo Unpacking. If you look at the, the way the font is, it's a handwritten font, font isn't even necessarily the right word for it but you can see like an actual marker there's places where like if it crosses over or the marker lingers there a little bit longer there's a little bit more ink um it's a nice little level of detail that they've put into this um i'm curious what else which beam is going to be making next because i'm very curious about this now if you'll recall last time i mean it hasn't been like a lot of things but last time we went through the the process of growing up moving out going to school moving in with friends moving in with a partner who uh did not accommodate our main character's needs um moving back home after what you thought was your future um doesn't work out um and then moving into your own place again and how incredibly empowering that is and now, oh, and then, and then having somebody else move in with you again, a risk, but this time being the good partner who makes room for your partner. Um, and now she and our main character are moving into this house. Now, I don't know. This is a much bigger house. It seems like a much nicer place. So this seems to indicate to me, like we, we've hit another level of, um, life and I wouldn't be surprised if we, um, if we had, uh, we're gonna just stick this on the floor for now. Ah, there we go. Okay, excellent. I wouldn't be surprised if there's children at this point, although I don't know for sure if our girls are gonna want kids, but this feels like the next phase in life. Two umbrellas. Cute sandals. I love the, I just, I love the detail of how much better at unpacking our girl gets as she grows up, you know? Which is very true, I think. This should probably, this looks like this is a towel. Oh, look at that, we've got two floors. How fancy. The music's a little haunting and a little bit sad right now. Oh, kitty. And this, I love, I love this because this is something of hers that she, she brings, I actually should probably have these go like this. She brings these same pictures. Like this is a picture she drew back in college. And like, here's the, you know that she's traveled because she has a bunch of, there are fewer boxes than I would expect. I wonder what's up with that. Like I'm used to there being like five, six, seven boxes in each room. And yes, still puts the occasional towel in with his shoes. Well, because if you have something that's heavy, for example, you, uh, you, or something that's fragile, you can use, uh, towels to pad those out, you know?
<laughs> I just, I do love the way they establish that you travel by showing the number of those. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, never mind. Those were in here, weren't they? And we have a little display thing here. So perhaps she's telling me that she wants these to go here. That seems reasonable. And yes, towels with plates makes a lot of sense. Um, like, just have your towels handy in, uh, when you do your dishes. Like, pack your dishes, then you don't need as many. Um, then you don't need as many packing peanuts and things. There we go. It's not, it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite lay out right. Hold on. We're going to try this differently. I'm going to see if I can make myself satisfied with this. Oh, the music got picked up a bit. There we go. I assume that this is where she wants these things because she put them in this, in this box, you know? Yeah, it could have padded the models. That would make sense. There we go. Maybe that's too high. I don't know. I can't tell. But I think that's about right. Okay, so our front entryway is nice. I, I like the detail of having to think about, oh, wait, why did she put these here? We have a place to put them. All right, so here's girl, girlfriend's plant. One of them. Oh, we've got a backyard. Oh my gosh. I want to look outside, but we can't. What's in here? Girlfriend's decorations. Girlfriend has a lot of decoration. Or wife. We, we, maybe they've gotten married. We'll, we'll probably find out if we, uh... <sighs> so pretty. Alright, so here is our... Oh. Got a wee the Wiimote, which I suppose should go on here, and controllers. Figure out where to put those. I just really, really love that she's a gamer. No, not a wedding ring. I meant a wedding photo. I might have said wedding ring, but I meant wedding photo. All right, so we should probably put the video games here. Oh wait, is that not? Oh, I love, I love, I just, I love the inexplicable things. Like, what is this? I guess it's an album, but she's had this for uh, forever, you know? Is that, uh, is that a movie? Shows what I know. I can't tell what this is supposed to be, but it's a different size, so we'll put it here. Because you just, you have the things that travel with you forever, you know? You have your movies, and your games, and your books, and just everything. And I don't know, I just really like, I just really like that. Um, that, that it feels like that here, you know? All right. Oh, oh we're going to have to figure out. Oh, that is the book the player writes today. I want to make a save file. Oh, that makes sense. All right. I think I'm going to have to put my books somewhere. Is this a movie? Yes. I'm going to put consoles. We'll figure out where these things go. Can these stack here? Nope. Okay. I'll figure out. The thing is, I'm, I kind of have to see how much I have of these things before I can figure out where they go. You know? All right. Like, these make sense. Putting games and movies and stuff all in one place. All right, board games can fit there. That sounds good. Oh, that's the wrong shelf. It's 
interesting. They're not all the same color boxes. <laughs> and then this was this this just the right size and shape. This is so much nicer than their last trashy apartment or well rental house, which had a really nice. I think this is supposed to go by the door actually. So we'll hang it up there by the door. But it was in the living room last time, which was by the front door then. Here's a cushion we'll put here. Okay. All right, we've got a figure. That's cool looking. All right. Oh, I should put this by the door too. Yeah, again, it makes sense because in the last house, these things were like the living room and the front door. Right, girlfriend's movie figurine collection. All right, this is girlfriend's plant watering. Figure that out. Oh, am I gonna have to take out her plants? Okay, these go here. Oh, hello, GameCube games. I think I'm gonna have to move the books somewhere else. Figuring out where to put them. It's such a fancy looking book. All right, we got another board game. Another GameCube game. Uh, this is a movie. Okay, these aren't all the same. I, some, some of those are games. Some of those are games. I'm gonna have to move those up here. These ones are games. That's a movie. That also looks like a movie. Okay. What are you? Also a movie? Looks like it, I think. I never even had a GameCube. Why do I have this visceral reaction to seeing GameCube games? I don't know. That looks like that's a game. The blue topped ones are Blu-rays. Man. I don't know. Like, this is a game, yeah. Okay. I have to figure out where we're gonna put those. For exposure. Oh my god. That's funny. Oh, can you zoom in to see things? I thought. Alright, and here's our blanket. Which I guess goes on the couch, probably. Oh dear, there's more of these than I thought. All right, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do here. If I wanna put these in here. Killer narwhals, bubble. Hold on. There's got to be a way to do this that makes sense. I just haven't figured it out yet. It's interesting that there's just this one book. I might put it with the rest. I put might put these with the rest of their books. Okay, so these don't quite fit here. Because I want... I bet it's driving some of you crazy that I'm like, I can't tell because I haven't had physical media be a big part of things for a while, so. Hmm. Cause like I could put these here. That doesn't quite make sense though. It kind of bothers me. 
Because, like, what I would do, probably, is have these, like, one at a time and stand these up here. But you, you can't do that. They, they only go sideways. So that won't work. Um, hmm. These probably shouldn't go on the floor. Like, can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Oh, wow, you can zoom way in. It takes me to the last level to, to notice that. Oh well. So the GameCube games with the Wii games on the bottom. These ones are the Wii games, aren't they? Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Hi Jenny, yes. This is very living rooms. Okay, so. Suggestion here. We take these out. Oh, I feel like I should be able to recognize some of these. Jaws? That's a... Are these Blu-rays up here? Are those movies? Those are movies. That's what you were saying. Those are Blu-rays. Okay, well... Should we do movies at, th at the bottom? And video games at the top? Do we have too many movies to do that with? looks like a ninja. What is this? It's like a werewolf. She likes horror. I have no idea what that is. Somebody pink with a green eye. Gotta be Tara, clearly. What is this one? I don't know. That's too much zoomed in. This is a book on the back. Is this a Princess Bride. Because that's Wesley and Buttercup. This is the Princess Bride. Hey, speaking of my, my Halloween costume came in. You'll never guess. Darn it. Is one of these a game secretly? It's not quite enough. No. That looks like a Godzilla or something. All right, so we're gonna have our GameCube and Wii games hanging out. The Princess Bride is my one of my favorite movies. It's so good. I think it might be one of the funniest things I've ever made. Not that I'm biased or anything. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I am gonna have to have games on one level and movies on another level. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Just, that looks like that might be Thread. The Thread game? The Yarn game? I don't know. That looks like Aliens. Uh, birthday party skateboard time. I don't know. Oh, Wii Sports. Okay. What is that? A giant angry chicken? is gonna work. Yeah, like, well, so the thing is, I could, for example, decide that we are going to have the Wii games next to the Wii. Oops, hold on. I accidentally got multiple ones. Oh, is this Okami right here? Yeah, that's Okami. That's definitely Okami. You're totally right. What is this one? What is this one? I don't know. It's very colorful, though. Yeah, so this one's Okami. Oh, Just Dance. Okay. So what's this one? These are important questions. This one looks like the yarn... No, 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 that's a tennis racket. That's a tennis racket. Oh, you can't fit them. And that's Katamari. I think that's Katamari. They don't all fit. Dreadful.
they're gonna be like you can't put your console in front of your TV and I'm gonna be like watch me <sighs> I'm I'm distressed I'm unnecessarily distressed by the fact they did this intentionally the fact that my games and movies don't quite work properly how dare how dare okay so here we've got uh, these are their handheld games so that's Spyro I don't know what blue Kirby is uh, this is something witchy. I have no idea. Animal Crossing is the first one? Okay. What is, uh... Oh, that, that one's the one that's Spyro. Is that... I don't know. These ones have different box types. I don't know. I want this to... Okay, fine. No, but these won't all fit. I'm gonna have to break up my Blu-rays. I don't wanna break up my Blu-rays. I'm gonna have to put my Blu-rays down. Oh, DS and 3DS, okay, yeah. Okay, so there's my Blu-rays. You know what? We could have some space left over. But the thing is, you're going to want your movies. <sighs> Where can I put these? Can I stack this on top of something? No. Okay. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. I love that it's called for exposure and it's a pencil there we go okay that works because now I can say one two three four five five won't fit here but we can put these here kind of reminds me of something from Celeste. Who are these two? Are they gay? It looks like they might be. One of them's got blue hair. Who is the purple person? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Wait, won't these? These won't fit? Will these fit? I bet they will, actually. Whatever, I object. It's gonna be like, Lauren, you can't just stick that. And I'm like, whatever, I can and I did. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stop me? How are you gonna stop me? Okay, we're gonna move these here. Oh, Romy and Michelle, I mean, they should be gay. They're not, but they should be. Oh, this doesn't fit there. It just plain doesn't fit there. Is it too short? Hi. Hi, Renaman. How's it going? Can I put this down here? I can. Okay, I'm just going to do that. There we go. That'll do, right? It's probably not where they wanted. Uh, They're probably going to be like... 
you should probably actually put things away properly and I'm gonna be like no I will not <laughs> you can't make me uh let's put this here I can't put the Wii with the Wii games why can't I put the Wii with the Wii games anyway that's frustrating busy book good yeah I saw you had a you had a big uh presentation and you got an award it's very exciting stuff no, those aren't the wireless kind okay I don't know all right oh that's right but if I move the, the books although I think she wants this here so maybe I'll put it here um but something else can go here what else could go here probably don't want your water stuff immediately over your electronics so I won't do that um this could go here maybe you're slightly less likely to grab it this is awfully crowded here All right. I think it I think it works okay. It's not ideal. I'm really having a rough time with the fact that things don't quite fit. Oh, life is hard. You put your emotes there. They're going to be like that's wrong, Lauren. You're not supposed to do that. I feel like oh. Hmm. I mean, or we could do this, put our handhelds up here with the idea that maybe we don't use them every day. So they don't need to be on the floor with the other stuff. I'm just mad that the Wii games don't quite work. you're supposed to do that is the thing. <sighs> Why? Why? I think that that is probably closer to what you're supposed to do. I don't understand why that's not going to work. <sighs> I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. Life is hard. Life is hard. Or should I put my board? Okay, so I don't like board games. I'm spending, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm spending a disproportionate amount of time trying to set these things up. But like, so I want to think about the fact that at least one of our girls here has, um, has a disability that affects her, her standing and walking. So I kind of wonder, like, would it be a bad idea to put these up here? So like, if you pull them down, is that a bad idea? Or is that like, she'll have to ask her girlfriend or wife to do it for her? Ah. I don't know. I don't know. There we go. I'll put this over here and stick this down there. So if you're gonna get those, they're here hanging out. There we go. Ah! <sighs> I 
maybe? Uh, th this, I think I could live with this organization. The Wiimotes are close to the Wii. Wii games are over here, though. I want the Wii games to be by the Wii. Ugh. But I guess you just sit here and you can grab the game you want. It's not that bad. If you want to grab the handhelds, they're down here. I have decided that Jubble, which I think is Scrabble, is the game they're most likely to want to play of these. And if they want these, she can convince her girlfriend to get them for her. And those go up here because I said so. This, I think, is for spraying the indoor plants. And this is for, like, actually watering stuff. I'm just frustrated. I, I shouldn't be as frustrated as I am, but I think this works. I think this works. I deprioritize board games, but that's just me. Um, but you, I, it's, I want the video game and movie watching experience to be a relatively not annoying. This is probably not where this goes. I'm probably gonna get yelled at for that, but there's nowhere. The thing is this won't go anywhere. Like unless we like put like this here and put this up here. Although, well, so we could put these here. I'm not quite sure what they are, but we could put them here. Okay, yeah, so you, yeah, you, could, you could still get them down for board game night, so you'd be okay. That thing is big. I, just, I don't like it up there. But I don't know where else to put it. You can do this. But I feel like this should probably be by the light, shouldn't it? I just like... Uh. Oh, you can do stuff with them? Oh, wait, are they plants? These plants? Or are these fake plants? Now I'm wondering what else I've missed out on that I'm not... Uh, well, like, I would want to put it here, but I'd be worried that that would trip them, you know? Oh, okay. Little decorations you can twist and they bloom. Neat. Cause like, it makes sense if this could just go here, but it can't. None of room. Ah, oh, curse your Blu-ray collection. What am I supposed to do? So if we don't keep water in it, then it's fine up there, but Yeah, I haven't right clicked like anything except for like turning things. Okay. Well, there we go. I think that'll that'll do. That'll do. There we go. Oh, if you right click the Wii, familiar tale I feel like I should recognize this can I turn on it can I watch a movie now okay well that's neat I don't know what the familiar tale is supposed to be but skyward sword oh maybe You can make it cozy. Oh, you can turn on lights. What else can I interact with here? I don't know. I'm just like, okay. So the living room I think looks pretty decent. All right, so we've got a kitchen here. We have a separate dining room. Okay, this, okay. So this, the, the kitchen just stuck stuff. This, that's not going to, no. 
<laughs> We're gonna find so there's gotta be somewhere else. Here we go. Okay. I have to figure out where to put her little plants. I don't think there's really good room for a kitchen plant. Oh, this one's big. I don't know, but but they kind of know what they're doing. So if they put this here, maybe they want this in like the center of their table. Got four chairs. Do they have kiddos, I wonder? All right, we got a rice cooker. We got a bowl, measuring cup, rolling pin. No, that is not, no, that, no, that is not, where, no! That is not where that goes. Okay, this is gonna go in the baking drawer. I hereby designate you the baking drawer. Okay, that looks like a, that's an actual, like, are these cups for tea? Here's our coffee. And I think that's a coffee grinder we concluded. So it should go over here with coffee stuff. I think these are coffee, like little coffee cups now. Oh, look at that, we got a nice little plate. Oh, look at that, plugs. Devices should go down here. We have room on the counter for devices, folks. Unthinkable. It's the shark plate. I love the shark plate. Okay, this goes here. And this goes here. There we go. Oh, um. There we go. Ah. Put these down here. Got a glass. I'm gonna figure this out. Give me a second. All right, pantry. Oh, we've got a pantry space right here. And a mortar, mortar and pestle. At least I assume that this is pantry. But I guess this could be pantry and this could be like cooking supplies. Oh, this is magnets. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Oh. And there's some friends. Oh. Okay, honey, sugar. Look at look at like how grown up our kitchen is. Our funny little mugs regular bowl. All right, baking supplies. <laughs> uh, vroom vroom. Okay, I have decisions. Uh oh, hold on. We're gonna have to make room for this. There we go. What is our, I can't remember what our whale was, but we have it, we have a whale. All right, so here's the cooking implements. <gasps> Look at how fancy these girls are. They have a spice rack. Spinny spice rack. See, cause like I think that this is where that's this stuff is supposed to go down here. Alright, you can go in here. This is a garlic press. Ice cream scoop. Baking tray. Normally I would put that underneath. Although you're not actually supposed to put that underneath the oven. That's actually a broiling thing. 
Okay, I think this one can go. I guess you go here. Unless I can put this sideways. I'm pretty sure this is gonna go down here. Let's see. Periodically something is in the wrong place. This would mean that there's heavy stuff in here. Oh, we have a very small bathroom, but that's okay. <gasps> I'm gonna get to that room. I don't wanna spoil myself. But I saw what that was, and I'm excited. Okay, so the colander can go down either on a shelf up here somewhere. Pots, yeah, pots can go. Wait, wait, wait. Can the pot just not fit here? Oh, it does. Okay. Excuse me? That's garbage. I disapprove. Frying pan. Can I put this in the frying pan? No. Okay. Put all of these here. Oh, we need a drawer for these. Here we go. Yes. Oh man, they've got so much stuff. I have to figure out where it goes. What is this placemats? No, this is trash bags. For the trash can. Which is right here. Put the trash can over there. I think that's the best place for it. Magnets. We got more magnets. Oops, I accidentally opened more bags. Boxes. So wait, there's a thing I can do here? Oh my god, they have a baby coming. They totally have a baby coming. Oh, this drawer is full. Oh my god, you guys have too much stuff. What am I going to do with this? Okay, now we can actually put our Hanukkah candles. <laughs> Those can go here. This can go up here for cleaning. This is measuring for the baking supplies drawer. More of the baking supplies drawer. This is a drying rack that's gonna go where I've got other stuff, okay. And oven mitts, oh my God. Okay, hold on, there we go. At least these can stack with each other. Oh, that's um baking uh, parchment paper. Okay, so these are too tall to go in there. So what we're gonna try to do is see, can we stack something else in them? Oops. Can we put them? There's gotta be some place where we can put them. Surely. I have too many. These might have to go down here, actually, under the sink, so that I can use my uh, this drawer right here for more cooking supply stuff. I mean, honestly, though, the wooden thing is these are salad serving, if I if I recognize them correctly. No, we can't store things in or on the oven. So these are things I think we'll need slightly less often. I'm, is this a, that's a scale. I think that's a scale. Okay, so this can go down here. That's gonna go in there for now. There we go. Where's the rest of our pantry? These are full size plates. They make such satisfying sounds. The foley on this must have been, uh, at least it's very straightforward. Oh, look, 
cutting board. Oh, I have to figure out where to put the microwave. <laughs> All right, so the whale can go down there. It can go over here. Why can't I put this both there? Oh. The microwave, I think, has to go there. I think that's like the only place for it. Okay. Look at look at the grown-up dishes, though. Aren't you proud of us? Cleaning supplies, debugginators. Oh, you. Yeah, I'll figure out what to do with these. If we're gonna do two plus one equals three. Oh, here's our French press. Okay. Oh, it's a kettle. Okay. Oh my god, we have so much stuff here. Finally, I get to. Oh wait, no, no, we're not gonna want that. That's not where those go. These go here. Somebody's water bottle. Hey, Phil. And somebody else's anti-hero. And this is gonna go wherever our pantry stuff goes. I have to figure out. Well, like, so the thing is, there's things, especially because I have my, some idea of what, what the girls own at this point. There's some things that I know are gonna go in particular places. Um, but some of it I'm gonna have to figure out. Okay, hold on. I figured out what I think is going on here, so we're gonna do this. Oh. That, that doesn't count for anything. Well, we're going to try this. Oh, okay. All right, so I have to make a decision is the thing is I have to decide where I'm keeping stuff of certain kinds. So I will what would want to have my spice rack. I like to have my spice rack close to... Um, I like to have my spice rack close to there. Where's the big knife? Oh, did I? Oh, okay. I knew that I did a, an addition thing, but I thought that the addition thing, I didn't think it was exactly that, but that's okay. Um, all right. Cause like I have to decide, like where do we put our regular dishes? What, what has to be most accessible? I want to put my rice maker on the counter my kettle okay there's my rice maker and my kettle the french press I can go up here with a coffee grinder only one of these ridiculous coffee mugs but like so I have to decide like dishes bakeware where is my big knife I have a big knife I know I have a big knife like do I want to put my dishes here probably No, you stay there. Although I feel like this is more accessible actually. Or do you think because our girl here has, um, like, I, cause I want to be mindful of her, um, of, of her like, um, accessibility needs and dishes are heavy and need to be used often. So I'm wondering if it would be actually kinder to put the dishes down here. But, like, I always put dishes up here, you know? We can put some of this, like, pantry stuff over here for cooking. Like, 
I think that it makes sense to use this as pantry stuff if there's room, but I don't know if there's room. Oh, there's room. Yes. How exciting. Oh, and then there's sugar and honey that need to get put away. If I can fit them. Maybe the coffee goes with the coffee things over there. We'll put the sugar here and the honey here. Like to me, this makes sense. These are things that you're gonna you're gonna want to be able to cook with. And I can put this in here. This is heavy, so we'll put it down here. So this is gonna be where coffee stuff goes. So we'll put our silly little coffee things there. There we go. So this is the coffee section over here. Here is, so I usually put cups and bowls on top and plates on the bottom. I don't know why, but that's, that's just how it goes. I, you may disagree with me. It bothers me that these aren't all facing the same way. There we go. Dishes. Which leaves us with this. Okay. No. Uh. Hum. No, I can do this. I can do this. Actually, hold on. That can go there. These guys are little, so they should go here. <sighs> you stack your pots and pans and frying pans together. Oh my god, why is this hard? No, that's how you do it. They don't agree with me. They're wrong. <sighs> oh, right. I forgot this. Can I stack things on top of this? Please tell me I can. Uh, cause I can put this in here. No, I can't. Ah, murgleard, murgle blurgle. Okay, I'll figure this out. I swear, I'll figure it out somehow. <laughs> Okay, can I put something else little down here? Anything little enough? No. What about you? Sharks. You? Yes. Okay, that, that goes down there. Okay. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Slowly. All right, I can't fit that there. But I can fit this one here, right? No, the whale, can I put the whale there? I can, I can put the whale there. Can I put the, the fishy, no, I can't, okay. Well, I'll put the whale there because the whale can go there. I don't know what the whale is. I don't know why I can't fit that. What is the whale?
Here we go. No! Oh my God. Really? Really? How much room does that bowl need? Is the whale a jar? way to do this because I've got like there we go <sighs> I disapprove I disapprove of all of these things. Is this a serving dish? I guess I can go down here. I don't know what to do with you, so I'm gonna put you here. to stack these. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. Because I could put these there. But this, I just... Ah! Okay. Is there room to fit anything else that can go here? Maybe. Okay. No. Okay, well, we're going to do that. Put these back this here and here and this come on <sighs> the mortar and pestle probably can't go there either nope I'm trying so hard I, I'd like to think I'm doing a pretty good job of trying I mean I guess Is there anything else I can put in here that I'm not likely to use frequently? Um, see, because like I could put this stuff here, but there's not enough room here. Cause like that's gotta go there. Oh, but I want to put the mortar and pestle here, and it doesn't fit, and I'm mad about that. Like I'm not sure exactly what the the hit boxes of these things are, relatively speaking. I'm like, you know, could I fit more stuff in here somehow? No. But maybe. <sighs> See, that's all really useful stuff. I don't know what else is supposed to go in here. that then what do I I don't know I'm frustrated I don't want to have to stick these things in a drawer I feel like that would mean that I'd done, I'd done something wrong I also don't know why the globe is up here I feel like the globe should go in here you know like congratulations you've got a globe Like, otherwise, like, what are we less likely to use so often? 
I don't know of all of these what I can move. Because, like, I can put these over here, but what does that accomplish for me? Like, we could put the glasses here. They won't all fit there. I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Uh, I feel like there's something I'm doing wrong. I'm not sure what it is. I don't like it. <sighs> I just don't know how to get these onto shelfies. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm overlooking something obvious here. Like, it would drive me up the wall to have these here. But, like, that would do something. I mean, I could put some of these... Oops. I could put some of these down here, actually. <sighs> Sorry, my touchpad has some issues. This... See, but see, this won't fit. Uh... Nothing fits. <sighs> Why can't you just stack things together? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to put things up here. Okay. I'm going with it. Until they yell at me and tell me not to. And the little, this little guy, this little guy can go right here. That's where he goes. All right. I don't know, this is some sort of a lucky, lucky symbol. Books go here. Here's our generic fantasy series. We thought of a few things it could be. Spooky horror. Wait. All right. Oh, I guess that could be a frame to take it to something. All right. So this is, um, I, I, I actually, I don't know if that's our, like, do we have a family of four now? I mean, we do have four cups and four plates and four everything. Here's our other whale. Maybe the whale doesn't have to go in that room. Maybe the whale can go in here, actually. Whale, you're coming out of there. This is not where you go. Whale, you're hanging out over here. Okay, the salt and pepper shaker go on the table. Hi, Whooper. We have a fancy... Oh, this is pretty decorations what is this it's, no that's not go in the kitchen <laughs> huh. what is this comic book and then this looks like this is a book on babies yeah that's a book on babies and this looks like what to expect when you're expecting. Also a book on babies. We have a baby coming. So we had to get a bigger house so that we would have a room for the baby. I'm very excited about that. I should probably put the heaviest books on the on the bottom shelf, actually. That's, that's a thing that you can do to try to avoid doing damage to your bookcases. Did you know that? What else have we got? Here's a laptop. That should probably not go in here. Okay, what is this guy? 
There's all stuck there. Comics. Oh, this is pretty. We can put that up as a decoration. Yeah, I th the thing is, I thought this was girlfriend's family's photo. Because I was trying to remember because I felt like I'd seen it before. All right. Okay, as much as I love your menorah, you don't have to just have it hanging out everywhere all the time. But we could have those. Is this more trash bags? Or is this like a... Like... I don't know. I don't know what- Oh wait, no, this is a thing to go on the wall. Never mind. There we go. It's Antihero. She really likes Antihero. Or she may have worked on Antihero. Girlfriend, I mean. Here's sketchbooks. Placemats. Okay. Placemats. One, two, three. All right. Right. Look at what grown-ups they are. They have a napkin holder. Aren't you proud of them? Okay, this definitely goes in here somewhere. Yet another thing for me to put on the counter. Great. Okay. All right. We've got all these pretty things. Okay, I'm gonna put this maybe in the living room for now because that's a laptop and I want to set up our table properly. Maybe this plant isn't going to work on the table like I thought it would. I don't know what to do with the whales. I feel like I had the whales in the last apartment. In the last home, rather. Hold on. Did I line those up properly? Cause like, there we go. That looks like that's a ready to be. Oh man, okay. All these pretty decorative things. Also, why are the why are the wine glasses in here? I don't think they should be here. Okay, let's move the whales. Can you do things with the whales? No, you can't. All right, let's put more books down here. Our pregnancy books can go down here. Okay, in fact, we can put just, just put all the rest of the books down here if they'll fit. I don't know if they will. No, they will not, okay. I like to keep types of books that go together, together. This one doesn't quite go there, so it doesn't need to. I'm gonna put your sketchbook in here. put them behind this up here. You don't need them all that often. That gives us some more space to put the decorative stuff and let the decorative stuff breathe. Oops. I don't know. I still have to figure out what to do with my whales. I don't 
think that's where they want me to put a whale. I like that there's just flowers everywhere. Okay, just so many plants. Oh man, there's gonna be so much stuff in here. I better have drawer units. Cause I got so much stuff. Of course I just like put my, put the thing right where my laptop should go. Okay, laptop. All right, books. I love that she has some of the same art books that she got, that she brought with her to college. You know, like that cracks me up for some reason. Oh, that is an adjustable standing desk. Oh, cool! I didn't even notice that. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Here's some of my old ridiculous drawings. Oh, that's not ridiculous. Some of these are ridiculous, though. Is this? I I don't know. This is printer paper. So we're gonna put it away because printer paper doesn't need to be on display. Sketchbooks, on the other hand, do. You need to have your sketchbooks around at all times. Man, we've got so many of these. I still have all of my old sketchbooks. So. <laughs> oh my god. I love how it's just... Yeah, okay, so that is a wrist brace. I wondered it because it looked like... Yeah, that makes sense. I just love that they've just got... Because we've all got one of those. Oh man, our art is starting to win awards and things. He's got more instruction. Art books. Design books. And then there's like some comic that we were like, okay, good, of course we do have a drawer unit. Hope I can put stuff in those. I can, right? And look at all these sketchbooks. Okay, I'm gonna put a trash can under the desk. The accordion, the important accordion stuff goes in here. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Is the ukulele going to hang out in here? I guess it might as well. All right. This is a stand for something that I had last time. Wait, I can't put another. Okay. This goes on the desk. Here's my graphics. My markers. Oh, my ridiculous lava lamp. There we go. I hope that like it starts lavaing. If it there we go. Yes, yes, it will start lavaing. I think as it turns on. Okay, so so ukulele stuff. Oh, that the ukulele stand is what this is. Okay. Um. Well, we could put the ukulele here. There it is. It's more sketchbook. This thing right here. This is the thing that I was struggling on where to put it last time. Oh, here's a monitor. Hold on, let me move stuff out of the way so that we can put the monitor where the monitor goes. Okay. Oh my god, the monitor has cute little things. And little, there's little hearts, like Zelda hearts. That's adorable. All right, we've got a nice colorful wall clock. You want to put it here so you can see while you're working. Here's our D20. Had that for a while. Little figurine. Hang out on the desk, little figurine. Here's a book to read. This is your book that you drew, I think, to read to kiddos. Presumably it can be read to your kiddos. Oh. Can I stack these on top of each other? I can. Maybe I'll do that, actually. Uh, well, 
I'm a lefty, so I'm inclined to keep these things here. There we go. Yeah, here's multiple copies of my book that came out. That's what this is, by the way, in case you can't tell. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just it's really funny. Yeah, so here's the, the book is coming out thing. That's really cute. However, um, we're gonna we're gonna put them in here for now. But we're gonna leave one out. We don't need all of them, but we're gonna put one of them out. Because we can. Oops. I did that wrong. Because you can put one on display and be proud of it. But you don't want it to take up the entirety of your desk area, you know? Oh man, I've got so much stuff. What is this? Oh, this is a tablet. Okay. God, I need to figure out where that goes. Oh my god, of course I have more markers. Looks like another instructional art book. I'm not sure what this one is. And here's our router, of course. Very important stuff. Here's more art, instructional art book things. So we're gonna take that one off so we can put this here. What else we get? Ah, yes, the computer. Uh, trash can goes over there, computer goes here. Okay, well maybe... that should go here and that goes there okay um so I've got here my Wacom get my ukulele stuff going on there um, I'm gonna put the instructional books down here, actually. That seems like that would be a good idea. There's just too many instruction books and just too many sketchbooks to put them. Hmm. Here's things if I need to be inspired. And here's more sketchbooks. I don't know. This is huge. I take up like my entire desk area. Um, and I don't have drawers to put these in, so I'm just gonna have a mess. That won't do. All right, sketchbook can go there. And this little book can go he here. No, okay, well, I guess I guess that's also an instructional run there. Now this can't go on the shelf, yeah, no. We can put it over here. Put these here. There we go. Man, this thing is big. I'm gonna have to make room for it here. Look at the lava lamp, look at the lava lamp. Do you see how, uh, how full the lava lamp is now. That's kind of awesome. It's a neat little touch. Okay, what else can go in storage that I don't necessarily need all the time? I've got my figures here. Put my internet here somewhere. Sorry. There we go. There we go. All right.
right. What are we going to do about this mess here? Got this and that. I just... I feel like... Oh man, I can turn on the computer. Look at that. All these things that I missed out on because I didn't realize I could right click on stuff. I bet if I did art stuff more, I would know what this is. All right. Um, I'm just like, I'm not sure what to do here. So we've got a lava lamp here. Put the lava lamp there. There, lava lamp. That's where you go. Like, it's just, it's such a messy dusk area. I need to make these not. Okay, this one. And go over here. No, I think, I think we'll do this here. I don't know. We'll do that. How's that? And this is, I think, for like rolling out your feet. If it's, if it's what I'm used to anyway. Okay, and I've got more space over here that I can put things in. This won't fit there, right? This one's go here. This could go down here. Right. And this can go here. I don't know. Like, I think she'd be proud. But I don't know. Would that get a pride of place on top here? I guess the little doll can go here. all the stuff that she'll need. Our little piggy business card. I think her business cards, I don't think she needs those at her desk, so I think that I can put those here. And this can go here in case we don't need it. Haha. Uh -huh. And so here while she's doing computer stuff and then she can scoot over here if she needs to have more drawing space. Because I assume she's probably right-handed. Most people are. I'm not, but most people are. Alright. I feel like that's that's pretty decent. I could live with this. She might complain about some of what I've done. All right. We're going to unpack here. Plants go everywhere. My girlfriend really likes plants. <laughs> here we go. Oh, is this, this is just the toilet bathroom. This is not a... Uh, showering bathroom. Where do I put... Okay, well, I guess that'll do. Did I put this badly? You're not gonna make me put one on the floor, are you? That sucks. Okay. Shall we? This is the entrance. Okay, so this is just the downstairs, but I've done the whole downstairs now. Oh, on the roll, thank you. I forgot that that was there. There we go, much better, okay. 
there's a second floor. Yeah. Here's our bedroom. Our closet is a separate room. Our baby room and our bathroom. And I think there's another, I think there's another floor. <sighs> no. Okay, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Okay, yes, that's... Oh my god, oh my god, my chickens. Oh, my chicken collection. You can make things glowy. Okay, this can go under the bed. As it's been doing for a long time. Look at that, we got two of them. I think this can probably go in here somewhere. We have a great big closet. That's that's good because girlfriend or I guess uh uh Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Such good storytelling though, you know. This, if I remember correctly, this goes in her bathroom. Oh my god. Her eggy her eggy collection. And that's a speaker to listen to music. Yes, the wife or girlfriend is definitely a fan of, a fan of, of clothing. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna stick this downstairs, oh my God. Cause I feel like this should go with the rest of her. books. Oh my god, there's so much house here. Okay. It's neat that you can turn the lights on like that. It's not a lot that goes in here, but... Ah, yes. figure this out. We got some pictures that we've drawn. A chicken collection. A horse. More pictures. Oh. If I remember correctly, girlfriend likes to uh, write down her diary. She, has, she keeps a dream diary. So just be nice with these. Huh. I don't know who listens to those. No, this goes in your closet. Ah, these are girlfriends walkie-talkies. I remember that. I don't know why they're in the bedroom, but they are. So I will put them back here where they belong. Go, oh, we're going to figure out how we're going to fit all this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm just like, let me s stack my chicken collection up here. <laughs> uh, hello chicken collection, there's gonna be even more of them. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, here's mama chicken. God, we got so many chickens. Does that chicken have sunglasses? Is this... That, that's a cool baby. Oh, is the square lamp the girlfriend's? I couldn't, I couldn't remember. Okay. Okay, so square lamp is girlfriend's. I think the candle stuff is hers. I remember, I know this is hers. Um, and this is hers. So we'll put that there and this can go into her storage. Like, unless she's okay with this going here. I don't know what these are. Are they speakers? 
Hold on, we gotta put Mama Chick with all her baby chickies. It's just a little chicky party here. Look at, look at all these chickies. I gotta put the really cool one in front. I'm sorry, but this one's just too cool for school. So we could put this up here. Or I guess we could probably put that there. I don't I think that I don't think there's enough room for it there, so we're gonna do that. Put this uh, hold on. There we go. All right, let's get this arranged nicely. It's interesting to me that the horse is the the one that they that they that they have put that here. Hold on. My tendency towards a, a gallery wall is kind of thrown off by this. It's not symmetrical. I can't tell if it's symmetrical or not because of the angles. Okay. There we go. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but there'll probably be more stuff. There's probably more stuff that I'm supposed to put in here. that will find out as we go through here. Hat. Hanger. Okay. Will you girls have enough hangers to satisfy your uh, obsessive clothings? Okay. Just gonna put everything out that we can. Oh, look at that. We got a treasure chest. I wonder if I'll be able to remember whose clothes are which, you know? Oh, we have a little... Um, okay, good. A place to put things away. Okay. This is definitely girlfriend's dress. That is definitely a top that's going to need to get hung up. Oh my god, she really likes Santa Hero a lot. Okay, so dresses are going to have to go here on the bottom. Noted. Ah. Okay, in case anyone doesn't know it, this is, this is, um, it's a cookie tin, but it includes sewing supplies. All right. Yeah, I've never lived with a girlfriend, so I've never had the experience of a... sharing clothes enough. I think that that's girlfriends, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, no, those, those are definitely... Oh man. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> yes, no, that seems like that would be, uh, that would be lovely. This is actually jammies, so 
We'll put it here. Just everything's out of order. That's okay. Oh man. <laughs> this, I'm gonna put that here for now. And then we'll figure it out. No. Okay, well the underwear is just all gonna go in one place because I, I don't know. This is awfully big. Man, we have so many hangers. You remember how few hangers she started with? And I complained, I had many complaints. I was like, how, how can you have so few hangers and, and enough clothes? Yes, she has learned a few things. All right, put jammies there so we can hang up this dress. Here's a sweater that is gonna go. Oh, okay, it probably has to get hung up on the bottom too. This can go there, okay. Here we go. Oh, I guess I could probably hang up some pants. Does this hang up down here? Yes, okay. All right. So right now we're just taking everything out and roughly putting it where it goes. We'll figure out the rest when we get there. Okay, so I guess we can hang up our pants. Wow, like real grown-ups. How exciting. Oh, look at that, we got a sports bra. Man, so many hangers. I don't think I can handle how many hangers we've got. What is this? Backpacking? More underwear, okay. Oh my gosh. She has certainly learned her lessons. Look at how many hangers we have. Okay. That underwear drawer is full. So we'll look in here and put some more underwear. I'm sorry, they're under they're they're gonna have to sort their own underwear out. But for now. Some thoughtful music. Pensive music. I'm just going to remove the sports bra and put that somewhere else. All right. Oh, that's cute. That's matching. Very thoughtfully done all right that I think is jammies I think these are nightgowns that's a sports bra so that's a coat I'm sorry I'm stating the obvious but look One of these is a top I can move up here, yeah. Okay, we're almost done with like what there is in here. Okay, so that's exercise clothes. Exercise clothes should have a drawer. A safe! Oh, we're such grown-ups. Oh my god, can you believe what grown-ups we are? We have a safe. Crazy. All right, exercise clothes can go in here, maybe. Oh, I think I think you can only stack two at a time in here. Yeah. Oh, what? There's gotta be something else I can fit there. Maybe. Okay, so this is underwears. This is bras. 
This is... I feel like this is exercise clothes, but I don't know. This is a coat, so that's going to need to get hung up. I think there's enough closet space. Huh. Okay, so jammies can go here. Wait. You can't fit all your jammies in one drawer. Hold on, I'm having a I'm having a a dilemma. I forgot about this. There we go, that'll go there. Sewing supplies can go here. Can this go on top of that? No. Darn. Um Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some decisions about what goes where. Here's your jewelry. And your nail polish and makeup and stuff goes here. Okay, so this decidedly does not go. Okay, here's luggage. What is, what is on the back of this? Is this a, a backpack travel case thing? I don't know, but it goes in there. No, you stay there. I think I do. St I have a few like empty hangers. Yes. I don't like how disorganized my uh, all right. So oh, no, stop. Alright, we got some blue jeans that can maybe get hung up. More jeans that can maybe get hung up. Maybe. Oh, those are shorts. Do we hang up the shorts? Okay, so these are jammies. Okay, so you can, in fact, put your jammies side by side like that. Okay, so there's, there's a jammy drawer. I think these are also jammies. And those are some leggings. All right, so have to figure things out here. Can I bring my coat downstairs actually? Because I feel like that would make more sense to have your coat downstairs, you know? Maybe that's just me. some things in storage that we're not going to need as often. All right, I do believe we can actually hang up all of our regular clothes. Now we have to actually put these in order. All right, so my, my default thing is sleeveless goes first. God, this is gonna be a big pain. Okay. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna have to rearrange things this way. That's fine. I can do this. Long sleeve things go towards the back. Oh, I've never seen a backpack that can convert into two little bags. That's that seems awfully fancy. All right, little tops go here in the front. Oh, I wonder whether, like, the people who made this game are wives. But it kind of has that, that, that feel to it, doesn't it? All right, should I put the t-shirts in front of these? Okay, so that's, that's stacked nicely, okay. So what we're gonna do here is jeans in the back.
skirts here. Jeans in the back. Can you not hang them up there? Is it because this is in the way? Yes. Okay, well that's good to know. Um, okay. We got the jeans, and then we got long skirts. I'm gonna move the dress up here. Put our longer skirts back here. I'm sorry, this is how I do things. It is funny to be like, folks will now have some sense of how I organize a closet, you know? All right. Scoot the dresses forward as much as they'll go. This dress can scoot forward some more. And this hanger can scoot forward some more. And then, then we can put this up. And then I believe the only two items of clothing that, yeah, we've got these shorts. We can hang up our shorts. Look at that. So many hangers. So many hangers. I'm pretty sure that this right here is going to go downstairs. Um, hold on. We're going to take this off and put this one here. Because you got to put, oh, you got to put things in order. I'm sorry. It's just... This is just how it is. It's an order of sleeps. Am I the only one who does that? There we go. Length, length and sleeves. Look at how neatly organized that is. Okay, well then I guess this is going to have to go in here somewhere. Just press it up against the wall there. Put a hat in the front. Bam. Hat. Unless we want to make it like really not the most accessible thing and then it can be up here. Although safes are usually pretty heavy so we probably actually want it to be lower. Oh, well I'm glad to know, no or nay, nay that I'm not the only one who, who has that experience. All right, let us go downstairs. Gosh, there's so much house to cover. Um, gonna put another sketchbook here. Oh my goodness. My book's gonna have to go down here so my sketchbooks can all hang out together. Important stuff. All right, back upstairs. And we've done these two rooms. I'm gonna take this and see if I can bring it downstairs because I don't think there's any unclaimed hangers here. Oh man, putting it by order of wearing makes sense. Do we have a... No, we do not have a hook. I don't know what to do then with this with this coat. I might have to put it here somewhere. I'm really not sure where to put it though. Uh, watch me encounter like one more hanger. You know? Either that or one of these things is supposed to not be on a hanger. Um, but... It's okay. I'm sure they'll yell at me about that. All right, let's take a look at our, our ba baby, baby land. The reason why our ladies had to move. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. She absolutely painted her baby's, her baby's wall. I don't know what this is. Baby books, baby toys. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to put those. <gasps> oh my god, baby clothes. Uh, in here? This is baby other stuff. Baby hats. I don't know what those are. I'm gonna have to figure this stuff out. Because this is a room that's entirely new. Like, I have no idea what they have or where it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's giving, she's giving the piggy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it's like a lot of little toys. <laughs> Stack 
you stack these together. That's cute. Oh my god. It's a teething thing. I just really want to meet these friends, you know? Like, you, you get to know somebody on such an intimate level going through their stuff. I want to I want to meet her and her lady and see their baby yeah I don't know I don't feel like crying in this game I don't think but I'm delighted more than more than crying. I feel a lot of delight. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff. Baby stuff is big. This is a piggy. Is the piggy that is her book based on her piggy stuffed animal? I think so. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, these are pacifiers. That's what those are. And clothing. I have to figure out what to do here. Oh my gosh. Bun bun. There's just so much stuff. I don't know what to do with it all. But I'll figure it out. More hats because babies' heads can't get cold. That's not good. All right. So many blocks. So many blocks. I wonder if you can spell out words. Uh, trash can. We'll go buy the uh, diapery. Okay. All right. So I have to figure out what we're doing here. Um. So I feel like in here we should put these because they're easily lost. You know. And the pacifiers too. So we get teething rings and pacifiers. And don't know what else would need to go in here, but maybe these can go in here. Or maybe those. I don't think those will fit. And this is going to be clothing? I guess. I'm really not sure. But I feel like I'm just going to be putting, like, the baby clothes in piles, just stuffing them in one of these drawers. Eventually you'll need, like, an actual dresser for little, little babiness. But for now, there's our clothes. Can I fit these in here? No. No. Okay. And then, oh. Down here. I think these are diapers. Actually, I wonder if they want to put the diapers in here. Those go in here. And then what are these? What is this? Can this fit in here? This cannot fit in there, though. They're gonna be like, Lauren, you did this wrong. I'm gonna be like, no, I did it right. They're gonna be like, no, no, you didn't. Go. Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay. Bet you can spell things out here. But I don't know what I would spell out, so. I'm not quite sure what this is. I 
I am gonna I'm oh oh I forgot that this is here I forgot that this is here the crabby book fishy book I, I was like they have nowhere to put stuff but they do actually You're not supposed to put stuffed animals actually like in the crib. That's generally not a good idea. Generally frowned upon. All right, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna tell me that I'm doing things wrong. Actually, this is probably supposed to go in the crib. That actually looks like it's supposed to go in the crib. And this can just go on the floor, I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. It looks like a Furby. Doesn't it? Okay, there we go. I've tried, I have tried. They're gonna tell me I put things wrong. Okay, what room have I not put stuff in? This is this room right here. All right. The parent bathroom. Or family bathroom, really. It sounds so empty in here. But I think it'll sound less empty the more we put stuff in. You know? This can get put away in here. Here's some makeup. There we go. More makeup. I think this is bathroom me. I think that this is like. Alright. I think this stuff goes in here. Hand soap. Very important to wash your hands, by the way. Make sure you do that. Okay, what else have we got? Hair stuff. I'll have to figure out. Okay, this goes in here. Look at how much space we have. My goodness. You know, like... Oh, it looks like the person who has the purple stuff is going to have to be on the bottom shelf. Because the gray stuff is not going to fit on the bottom shelf. Well done. My uh, touchpad was having some trouble there. know where this goes but maybe that's where she wants it to go are these I'm not sure what these are but I'm gonna put them here one in doubt hold on this will go in the back because it's a full-size towel and this is a hand towel so it can go where the, that goes It is really satisfying going through this stuff. Vitamin D, very important. Some meds, more med looking stuff. Oh, those are, this is your first aid stuff. I feel like medicine should go in the medicine cabinet, you know? Tissues, go here. Alright. I can go there. I 
have a negative reaction to seeing one of those in the back end, but that's not necessarily fair. No. Turn the sand. There you go. That's important. Alright, so this is don't slip in the tub. I'm not quite sure what this is. That's cleaning the toilet. What is our first aid kit? I love that the first aid kit goes with us everywhere, you know? Oh, we have a laundry hamper. Nice. Okay. Excellent. What is that? I don't know, but the laundry hamper can go here. Yeah, I thought it could be pet food, but... We haven't seen anything else pet related. Oh, you can hear that there's nighttime music going on. Oh, it's a uh, it's soil for the plants. What's it doing in the bathroom? This is not where you go. Please go downstairs where you belong. Um, here. Yeah, it's gotten it's gotten dark out there during the time that we've been doing this. Making pretty good progress, I think. Then in here. This, I don't know what it is, though. Okay. And this can go here, since you don't have a kiddo in here, so... Is this more medicine stuff? No, these are all tampons and so on. That looks like detergent. Yeah, where does the detergent go? This is medicine. That's that's uh that's Tums. Cream. <laughs> Roach killer. Cause you never know. Gonna need to figure out where these go. Stack them. It's a lot of hand towels we've got. A lot of towel towels. Okay. There we go. Ah, here's the laundry. Oh, what? Come on, you've got to be able to put the... Oh my god, are you telling me I can't put the laundry stuff all together? Yes, yes, I know. I know. I know. They're like, we don't think you know enough. Okay, hold on. Oh, this can go on the counter? Okay. So this does not go here. I thought that this went in the bathroom before. That doesn't fit there. Does this go in the laundry room? Is this where we don't have a laundry room. Yeah, this goes downstairs in the uh, living room, I think. Wow, the living room is the only room that doesn't have anything wrong. Wait, no, there's a couple of rooms that don't have anything wrong. Let's put this here. Okay. There are many things that are not not happy right now sorry 
I got distracted and didn't see that there was chat. I was too busy paying attention to this. Storage spot in this bathroom you never found? Oh, is it the pencil box? I, I knew that I'd seen this before, but I think you're right. I think it is a pencil box. It's a, the thing is it's a tackle box and those can be used for makeup or they can be used for pencil stuff. Yeah, okay, so this doesn't go in here. Or if it does, I don't know. So that'll do there. Oh, my goodness. Wild. So I don't think anything else here is wrong. Amazing. Okay. That's not, well, I was expecting some things to be wrong in here, but so we're just gonna, gonna go through here. Okay, yes, that's right. I completely forgot to figure out what I was doing with my toaster. Okay, that, that fixed it. That was fine. Shockingly, nothing seems to be wrong in here. Nothing seems to be wrong in here either? Or in here? Ah, these are not allowed to be up here. Do they get stacked here on the floor? Okay, I guess that's what I do. Is there anything else here that's blinking? No, everything else seems to think it's okay. Okay. Cool. I'm a little surprised, I'm not gonna lie. What's wrong in here? These guys. What else? What is in here that's wrong? Ah, the coat. I'm not I'm not sure what else to do though. I don't have any other hangers to hang it on. And like, I mean, I guess I could put that in there. And can these go up here? Yes, they can. Okay. Huh. Okay, that kind of messes with me, but that's fine. Put this here. This here and move the shorts up here. So the shorts are hanging out together. Because it's the only way, because none of these will fit. Okay. I mean, I guess we could also just like, uh, put these in front, which I don't really like, but we could do it. There we go. Okay. Huh. Okay, there's a problem in here. 
now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure, like. Because, like, I want to put this stuff in. Oh. Oh, I do have a laundry room. Oh. So I could I could put more stuff in here if I wanted to. Like this this could go in here if we wanted it to, which would free up more space here. Sorry, I know that it's I know, I know, you're doing your thing, but you gotta let me do my thing too. And my thing is fussing over this. Okay, I need more space to put that down. Hmm, how much space do I need for that? Like, can I put this in here? Do I have any more space that I could do this? No, okay. Sorry. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I want to see if there's anything else I can interact with here. Um. Okay, so I can't fit this in here anywhere. But I want to... Uh, can I stack anything here on top of anything else? Because what I could do is I could give her her like little makeup section over here. better don't you think maybe, I, maybe I'll put this over here then nope that's not where it goes that is where it goes okay that's funny all right I can live with this what is this anyway I don't know. Is there something that could go in here? Yes. Okay, well, because if that's something that can go in there. Hi, Stolen Light. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to wrapping up. Oh, you know what I can do, though? I can put some of my medicine stuff down there. Can't I? And then I can put some of these, sorry, it just, it, it was bothering me. Things were not set up in a way that I liked. And I wanted to do something about that. There we go. So I'll put this over here. And put this over here. That's better. It was it was bothering me earlier. And then this one can go over here. There we go. That's much better. Right? Right? Much more orderly and reasonable. Oh, did she change out her toothbrush cup? <laughs> I didn't notice that. Let's take a look then. So here they've got the decorations. I love that she let you know that she wanted it to go in here by putting that in, putting these in the boxes here. 
We've got our shoe collection. We've got our living room, which shockingly, shockingly, the living room hasn't yelled at me about the placement of anything. I don't understand, but I guess I won't argue. I'm gonna move this, move this here. All oh, right, I forgot that the bus, where did I put the bus? Let's put the bus where the collectibles go. I forgot that the bus was part of this set. Okay, there we go. Which makes this a little less cluttered. I think I did my best here. Where are my, where did I put them? Where did I put them? Are they in here? There they are. There we go. Actually, I wonder, uh, this, this can't hang, can it? Is there anything else that's hangable? Because I can hang this here if I want to. Well, I did my best and it, it works. It's okay. They could make this work, I think. It's cute. So here we've got friends. We've got, look at them. See this one? You can tell they're kissing. This is them holding, like, like hugging. I think I did a pretty good job making the kitchen work, all things considered. And this, I mean, I'm surprised that the whale's okay, but the whales are okay on the table, so we got whales on the table. Don't you put whales on your table all the time? Might Maybe I'll move them up here if, they, if they'll go up here. Yes, they, they can. Okay. That feels better, doesn't it? Okay, I like that better. I really, really like Antihero. Season 2. I wonder if it was season 1 last time. Yeah, yeah, I think this works. And this man, she's got so much stuff, but she does have enough enough room to to use it. It was interesting that this little little book did not Hold on, let's put this down here if we can. Oh, if we can. Surely there's a shelf we can put it on maybe. Actually, well, in that case, maybe I should move this up here and put this here. There we go. I'm sorry, I've got to be fussy about things like this. It's a crowded little space, but it's nice. I actually wonder if this is, in fact, somewhat autobiographical, you know? So wholesome. I think I did pretty well with this room. I'm really surprised, honestly. I was really expecting them to get on my case about something. There we go. But no, we did it. We did the best we could. So usually it's the bedroom that I that I mark here, be that, or that I take a photo of, that's like the proof that we've unpacked. But the bedroom is actually like, it's funny to go from living entirely in your bedroom to living elsewhere, like in the entire place. Now, I'm currently in a situation in my life where I live specifically in my bedroom um, because I'm sharing an apartment with someone. So I have stuff in other parts of the apartment, but this is the only part that's like entirely mine. And it is interesting how that works. Everything is biographical of someone on or near to the dev team. It does feel that way. It really does. I don't know why I'm taking these pictures, but I am. What other room should I take a picture of? I feel like this is pretty good. What else is there? What other room in this house? The kids room, you think so? I like this. I think I did a good job here. Even though this looks really silly in this corner, but that's fine. They're allowed. I think that the girlfriend works on that. Well, I guess wife at this point, maybe. I don't know. I 
I am pretty proud of this. I think I did a pretty good job. But um, now you have too much insight into my organizational tendencies. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did pretty well here. Okay. I think that we should hit the gold star then. Are you ready to hit the gold star and move on? I love the little touches of both of them in every, like, every room. Like, there's plants just, like, everywhere. You know, their stuff is merged. They just, they coexist really nicely. Sometimes you can tell whose stuff is whose, and sometimes you can't. Um, it's nice. It's cozy. We can get a pet now. July 2018. I wonder if that's when this game... When did this game come out? Earlier this year? Last year? Was this? I wonder if this is like roughly when they started working on it. Which be oh that's a really cute logo. The moving truck pulls up, there's a knock on the door. Now all your stuff is here in boxes on the floor. You open up a box, there is so much to do. I open up my heart, this is now a home for two. What a beautiful ending. 
and they know that you're going to want to see them. So I'm so glad they let you, even from behind. Oh, what a lovely game made with so much personal experience. It's funny, I've played a number of very, very small team things. I forget sometimes that little indie projects can still have full teams working on them. Like this. You know? The pixel art is, is extraordinary. So it's, what's interesting, I think there were maybe a few things in the ending credits that I don't know if those are items that we see in the game. Unless the boyfriend had a fancy coffee maker. Um, but they've done such a good job of making things like immediately recognizable, which works because part of what they're going for is, is relatability, you know? This is the sort of thing that has layers and layers of meaning if you like were there then, if that makes sense. Because it's because it's so personal and so very specific. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna talk a little bit. Are you okay with that? Um, because it's so very, very specific to its time and it, I will say to its place, even though, again, it's, it's on the opposite side of the world from where I grew up, um, because it's a, it's a nerdy, like, like nerdy space, um, you know, so maybe physically, nationally, it's a different location, but the community that um, the character is part of is a community that I was part of at the same time that she was and so it's the sort of thing that I wonder what for example a younger audience I mean it's a charming game it's just plain charming but I wonder how different the experience is if you are somebody who grew up in a different time period in a different situation um, because I, I wonder if if a uh, I wonder how much recognizing all of those little details adds to it because for me there's a there's a thrill of delight again and again and again as I open up things and say this is this this is that and then when you realize like oh this is a reference to this I can figure out what these movies are oh this is her uh this is her D&D &D group that she's moving in with her roommates are her D&D &D group and one of them is working in a Sailor Venus costume um and, uh, and things like there's like the, the Lisa Frank poster and, and childhood like I it's funny because there's a lot of referential humor that the whole joke is do you, do you get what this is referencing and then you feel this like little cool moment of like I am in the know and that's something that I actually find a bit frustrating um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a trend in, in, in media um, because a lot of things seem to kind of have that be the entirety of the story or where the, the, the point of it is kind of to be like because you know this you're important and special because I'm only like like the the people who know this are important and special and other people who don't are outside um and uh and uh, and so I find that I find that frustrating when like for example something like Ready Player One um which I Full disclosure, I haven't read or watched, but I've read a few parts of it, and I've kind of tried to figure it out because I was like, this is such a big cultural phenomenon, maybe I should read it. Um, um, but one of the complaints that I've heard most commonly about it is that it's kind of like, do you get this? Do you get this? Do you get this one? Do you get this one? Um, and that's not, you, I don't, I don't think that's very effective, and I think that's a very superficial way of appealing to an audience. Um, and so it's interesting here because, oh man, Twitch is telling me that I should remind you to follow me if you're not already. Well, if you're not already following me, please feel free to. We'll play Stray next week during this time slot. Um, so in this case, the references add a lot of, um, verisimilitude isn't quite the word I want. Um, 
but it is like it, it, it gra it's very grounding it makes it feel very real um something that people um something that people i think uh a common mistake that people make in telling stories, in marketing, any any time that there is an audience and you are creating a work that will have an audience and you are at all considering audience, um, one of the most common mistakes that people will make is I want to make it appeal to everybody, so I want to make it universal. Um, things that are universal feel empty and hollow. It's the specific details, whether they resonate with you based on your own life experiences or not, it's those specific details um, that, uh, that makes something have substance to it, have, have, um, have the feeling of reality, a feeling of, of presence, a feeling of place. Um, and so if you have something that is specific and you have your specific audience in mind and you create that, you will reach a broader audience than just that narrow, narrow audience. Um, because people will feel that connection. They can feel that level of care and that level of reality and three-dimensionality in what you've made. Um, and so because unpacking uses its little real things very well, um, the appeal of the game doesn't hinge on whether you grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s uh, in a nerdy community uh, in an English-speaking country. Um, it doesn't depend on that. It's still an enjoyable experience and you can still figure out the bits of story it wants to tell you without that. Um, but because it has those details, there's that consistency from the things that you see in your roommate's place, the things that you bring with you. This, this, you get to know this stuff and it's consistent and it feels like something that one particular person would carry with her through her life um, because it's based on something specific. Um, so I would imagine that it probably lands pretty well, even if you don't have those shared experiences with the main character. But I wouldn't know, because like I said, like this is my childhood, my teenagerhood. Like this, this is about two years off. <laughs> um, so it's very, very, very relatable for me. Um, so I imagine that it still has a lot of, a lot of, um effectiveness and that it is a successfully told story without that um but i'm really glad that it had those for me it feels really nice and i wonder actually i feel like in the case of this i think blues was saying that um having references can make something feel dated and it can but it kind of depends on what you're doing when you're doing it um and why you're doing it um if you put those things in to feel contemporary and to establish that the story that you're telling is contemporary um it will be very, very of the moment and very, very quickly of yesterday, um, which can be okay. It depends on what you're doing. Um, but generally speaking, I think there's there's a, a need to keep in mind a sense of timelessness. Um, in the case of this, because it's looking back on the past, there's already that distance. Um, and so that means that it will continue to age because it kind of had aged when it was started. It, it was created with age in it. So it will always be a snapshot of a particular place and a particular time and a particular kind of experience. Um, I feel like, I feel like this might be, for example, something that people could pull up 30 years from now and say, what was it like to be in this time? What was culture like for people in this community with this kind of background? And unpacking has those details. Now you would need, I think, uh, you would need footnotes essentially for somebody to say like this is a this and this is a this and this is a significance and you can tell this about the character because they have this which indicates that um which would be really interesting as a time capsule um and just thinking about that as as something that could be used uh for his historians i mean that's that's near past so i don't know that that the historian is the right term but i'm not sure exactly what um what the right field of study that is but but isn't that interesting to think of this as a time capsule um and I'm sorry like it's a sweet sweet story and on some level I'm a little bit jealous because I'm like this is what I this is what I what I, what I hope to get to a chapter of like in my life like this um you know you've had the false starts 
the the wrong decisions, the the having to readjust and recalibrate and figure out where you're going, and then set off on that path. Um, I don't know. It's neat though. It's a neat. It's a neat thing because even down to, uh, frankly, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to go there. Um, but the fact that she initially moves in with a man who doesn't make any place for her in his life. I mean, that's not my same story. Um, but there's a whole lot of queer women who fell into heteronormative relationships, um, out of college or in college, um, during this specific generation. Um, who then, when those relationships don't last, um, somewhere along the line, maybe while they're in those relationships, maybe in the process of leaving those relationships, they have a bit of an epiphany. And now in my case, there were several stages to that epiphany. Um, but you kind of come to an understanding of yourself and also an understanding of what else is available out there in life that this rather narrow path that you've been provided with in your um in your younger years that's not the only option um and so I've, I've known a lot of um girls and women who wind up you know getting married in their 20s or 30s to men and then they get divorced and enter relationships with women um and it's a uh, because it's an option now and it, it, it wasn't then and I mean I know it was obviously and I think there are some of you um see Blue Mary I I don't I don't think that m moving into a bigger house with said guy would have been better the the problem is not that there's not a not not space the problem is not that it's a small space the problem is that he did not in any way rearrange his life to accommodate you and that is essential when two people are getting together. Um, it can't be one person doing all of the compromise and it can't be one person doing all of the work. You'll notice when, um, when the girlfriend, later wife, um, presumably, moves in, like, yes, you have more space than, than that tiny apartment, um, the tiny downtown apartment that the boyfriend lived in. Um, but when you go to put her stuff away, you notice, like, you know, the clothes have, have been pushed aside. There's a second set of drawers. There's, like, there's space that has been made in anticipation of her moving in. Um, and that's, that's clearly, um, I think, our, our girl, our main character, has learned from that not having happened. She, she knows that that's a thing to think about. Um, but also, I think she's a more considerate person um even when she moves in with her even when she moves in with her roommates um outside of college like there's space they've like cleared an entire shelf for her like they have cleared space her boyfriend couldn't be bothered to make room for her but her roommates have made some room for her and it's still um it's still a bit of a, a tight fit in some places when when you move her into her roommate's house um, but because they've made space and because they're okay with, with sharing, like, I was like, I hope they don't mind me putting this stuff in the living space. I hope they don't mind me putting this stuff in the shared space, but it's fine. I'm like, oh, they have their D and D figurines out. I'm going to put mine on the shelf with them. Um, whereas I found when I was putting stuff in the boyfriend's apartment, I was like, he's going to get mad. He's going to get upset. This this doesn't match his style. This is clashing with what he's got. This is interrupting his, like, sparse decoration. Um, like, I was just expecting him getting frustrated. Maybe not angry. Maybe not angry. You know, maybe he's not somebody who's going to fly off the handle about that. Maybe he is. Um, but, uh, but you start feeling like you're an imposition um, in a way that you don't in the other situations where you are cohabiting with people. Um, and I think that's really telling and interesting. And I do think that that is something that, I mean, that's something that I hope will change and no longer be the norm. Um, but there has been a problem, um, as, a, as Stolen Light says, in, in hetero relationships, uh, women take on more than a fair share of the housework and take on more than a, their fair share of responsibility for the relationship and for the household. Um, 
my ex-husband was a very kind person. Like he's just, he's a very nice person. Um, and he, I think, would have identified as a feminist actively. Um, but I still had to put my foot down when he was still part-time work and part-time school um, with a lot of free time. And I had graduated from college and did most of the cooking and cleaning while I was doing full-time school and part-time work. And then I was doing full-time work um, and other stuff on the side. And I had to finally say, please help me with cooking and cleaning. Um, several months into that part of my life um, and that's not uncommon you know that's that's I had for the rest of our relationship I had women tell me how lucky I was that he cooked sometimes and he cleaned sometimes I worked full time and led a band and was in grad school and was doing other things and I was still doing you know one could potentially argue more than 50% of some of the housework and things like that. Um, and, and he was not in that position. Um, and that's just kind of a default option. Um, and obviously, you know, when I said, like, this is a problem, he would be like, oh, oh uh, I didn't, didn't realize it. I didn't see it. Um, and it's not that men are bad. Um... And like, it's 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 not that men are it's not that men are doing this intentionally. This is just societally how the standards and expectations have been. Just like it's not that there weren't options to have queer relationships in the '90s or 2000s. Like, queer people existed then, um, and I even had some queer friends, although not as many queer women that were quite comfortable with the label of queer was not a term that. Uh, that that they would have used at the time, um, but uh, but like it's not that it's just there's 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 a, there's a default setting, and I think that a lot of people fall into that default setting when they're not presented with alternatives, which I think is part of why people who want the default setting to remain are so um, adamant on not having others discuss their life experiences and so on um, so that people don't know that there are alternative ways of being um, and that's why it is so important for us to continue to tell our stories and for stories like this to exist um, for the reality of other ways of living to be public and visible and shared with everyone so that young people don't fall into a default option that will make them unhappy or worse you know, just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I ask myself a lot, you know, what, and it's a question that I, I think I've started sort of walking away from a bit. Actually, no, I'm writing a book, <laughs> putting this sort of a little bit of my feelings apparently into the thing that I'm writing right now. But, um, you kind of ask yourself what would have happened if I'd known that that was an option? What could life have been like? And there would have been other hardships. Um, Definitely. There would have been other challenges. It's not like my life would have been smooth sailing, but some of the problems that I've had in my life I would have avoided. <laughs> and sometimes you kind of wish, wouldn't it have been nice to have not had that experience? And that's a complicated thing that's beyond the, beyond the scope of this conversation, I think. But yeah, no, just like looking back on my past and my, my, my younger days and having context that I lacked then that I wish I'd had. I don't know. And so for me, that's a big part of what I see in unpacking. When I see her moving in with a useless man, <laughs> and I mean, you know, obviously he's successful and, and she likes him well enough to move in with him. And I'm sure she thinks this is it. This is it. We're moving in together. This is who I'm going to marry and spend the rest of my life with. Um, but it's, he's selfish. Um, and I think there's a certain kind of selfishness that comes with privilege. Um, or, or that coexists with privilege. And that seems to be what he has. I don't know. But we can make a better, brighter, more colorful, queerer, more inclusive world. That is better for everyone. Including, um, including you know, straight men who 
maybe haven't been taught things or provided with um, the support to learn a set of skills to take care of themselves. Um, so when inevitably their girl girlfriends or wives leave them and they're stuck not knowing how to be an adult, um, that's not good for anyone. Much better to, to provide that support and education for everybody. Um, so yeah. Sorry, and I realize like that this might be a sensitive thing to talk about for those of you perhaps who fall in that demographic. Um, and I, I, I understand that it's probably frustrating because a lot of those of us outside of that demographic have various levels of resentment or frustration. Um, and I hope that with enough time and distance and communication and improvement, we can get to the point where we're, we're, we're all making forward progress together. But yeah. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm sorry that so much of what I got out of unpacking was was hoping that she was going to wind up in a queer relationship with somebody like when she moved in with her with her with her roommates with her D&D &D buddies I was like she's gonna move in with some dude and then she's gonna wind up falling in love with one of her D&D &D buddies and she doesn't I don't think I think that the girl she winds up um forming a making a family with later is not somebody that she knew when she was younger um but I was already rooting for that to be the story I wanted that to be the story that they took um, because it's a story that mirrors my life and so many other people that I know. Um, and I'm glad they went that way. Um, no, especially knowing that an entire larger team worked on this. Um, I'm glad that that's the story that they chose to tell. I picked on her, I picked up on her queer vibes early, perhaps because I saw myself in them and I saw myself in her so much, which I really, really enjoyed. I was very glad to have that experience. Um, I don't know, like, I think unpacking would be a charming, delightful game without any strong personal connection to what happens in it. But for me, it was a more <sighs> impactful, if you'll forgive me using a, a cliche term, but it, it, it means more because of that side of things. And I'm really glad they did that for me personally, selfishly. I'm I'm glad I get this. And it kind of gives me some, like, a reminder of, like, some hope of, like, yeah, that this could be me again, too, like, you know, moving into uh, the next stage of my life, um, whenever that time comes. Um, and in the meantime, like, I, I do feel like even if my path has kind of gone back and forth and been a, what felt like a few steps backwards at some places, like, you know, you still keep keep moving keep moving on and making home where you find it and uh, finding yourself and finding success as yourself. It's good stuff. No, I didn't. I did enjoy it. And I'm really, really glad I played it. So thank you to everybody who told me that this game was more than just reassuringly fun packing, like, like putting stuff away. Because I, I like that it was narrative. I like narrative games. So I think think next up is going to be Stray. So if that is something you would like to see, um, please come by Thursday evenings starting next week. That'll probably take more than two streams. I don't know how much more than two streams, um, but I think that's the next thing I'm going to play and just kind of go from there. I guess we'll do some indies. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking about skipping Disco Elysium again, I'm sorry, um, but just for uh, for mental health reasons, uh, not going there yet. Um, and maybe doing something lighter. We'll see. We'll see. I realized recently, looking over my YouTube channel, that most of the games that I've played on stream have been weird, obscure indies or like hard to quantify things or stuff that's not all the same genre or whatever. Um... Like, I'm kind of all over the place. Really, all things considered, it's it's kind of a wonder. Like, I don't know, there's not really a through line that I think most people would expect to see in the things that I play, but I have enjoyed most of them, and this is another one of them. Um, yeah, I, I just Disco Elysium, like, I hear such good things, and it's getting harder and harder to avoid spoilers, um, but I'm still avoiding them as best I can. Uh, it's just... 
coupled with Horizon Zero Dawn right now, and given that I crawled my way out of depression earlier this year, um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Um, but I'll, I'll keep folks posted about that, and in the meantime, we may be looking at a Mario game or something like that, which is quite a the opposite end of the tonal spectrum, as I understand it. Um, well. <sighs> <laughs> maybe Nick maybe um I I'm still I'm, I'm also just cautious about the content in Disco Elysium um one of my best friends played through it and was like are you sure you want to play this game Lauren um <laughs> and I was like I do play I play dark games I like dark you know I like having dark plot threads and stories and she's like I know but you should be careful um so I'm taking that warning to heart um and uh, we'll figure out kind of how I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I've done a lot of like, just weird, like, I don't know weird and obscure, like not everything is weird, not everything is obscure, not everything is indie, but like, Talos Principle and Monkey Island have no real through line. And I don't know why I played uh, Barkley, Shut Up and Jim Gaiden. <laughs> that was, that game, if it, that game had gone on one more stream, I would have, I would have stopped playing it. <laughs> I don't know, just, it's just, it's just pretty random. It's pretty random stuff. Um, but I played some very good games. So I don't, I don't regret the games that I played. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what Stray is like. I don't usually do things for the memes, though. That's the thing. It's not usually my style. Um, but 2017 was an interesting time for Lauren's. Anyway, yeah. Um, I still want to do, by the end of this month, I think, I want to do my YouTube stream for the 10,000 subscribers. I want to stream music for them. Um, but I'll be sure to let, for those of you who are Twitch only, I'll let you know about that on Discord and all my social media so you know when that's happening. I've been practicing a little bit again so that I will be able to play a full show. Um, yeah. And I, I, oh, and, and VGM together is this weekend. So if you like video game music, I'm not participating, but I will be cheering folks on. Um, so, uh, so that should be good. And I'll have some more music and other things, music and writing and stuff coming up. And hopefully we'll start creative sprints again. Um, I just have to do it and figure out my life. <laughs> anyway, I think that's everything I want to say. Thank you for sitting here listening to me talk for like over half an hour, but I guess that's what I do. I like this music. I'm looking forward to seeing what this, this team makes again. All right. Thank you all so much. Again, if you happen to still be here and you haven't followed me yet, Twitch says that I should let you know <laughs> that you should follow me, please. Um, now, I will see you all next week for Stray and Horizon Zero Dawn on Tuesday. Um, and we'll just keep moving forward with the things that we do. Um, please, please enjoy your life as best you can. Accept yourself and love yourself and, and the journey that you've taken to get to where you are now. And if you're like me, not quite where you feel you should be on that journey, that's okay. <laughs> it's seldom a straight linear path, especially if you're not straight. Uh, ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good night, folks. I'll see you later.